and this is why the logic mirror is so good device to use it will save you a lot of time effort and cables so this is how it's done guys Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Saddam of the Bears and this is Logic Mirror Tutorial. Let's start from the scratch. So imagine this uh, network behind this APC as a room. This is another network here and there is another network. And you want to drive this light with this switch, alright? So I will just show you a few ways how you can do it. So let's do this. So I will use a logic writer and few cables and of course you don't need a logic writer like uh, with a switch you can use a logic writer with switch which is built in but we will do this example you will see why a little bit later all right so the the logic writer needs power and we can get the power from this APC from this network or this network so let's say we want to power this logic writer always from this network so till this uh, apc has power the logic writer should run so let's program this circuit so the input for this logic writer is going to be the switch we don't have any other devices uh, in this um, circuit output is going to be this uh, wall light and the variable is going to be on, right? Just like that. And let's see. So the wall ID is off. I can turn it on and I can turn it off. Just like that. I think this circuit was too easy for you. So I will remove this logic writer. I will remove the cables. And we will do something else. So this is our network again right and driving a switch with the uh, no, driving a wall light with a switch that's easy but what if you have there some kind of a different device and you want to do something more with it so let's try gas sensor right so i will put this logic reader here but i need to rotate it so I will install another logic reader and we want to read, let's say, a pressure. So input, this is going to be the, the gas sensor, just like that. And variable, the pressure, maybe something like this. So we can read now two variables from this gas sensor. But imagine if you want to read more variables or if you want to do some kind of a communication in and out but you will need a lot of space or maybe you can use a ic chip for it but it will get complicated i'm not saying it's not doable it is but there is much much easier way so i will show you guys so now i will use logic mirror this is how it looks like and it has uh, input on the left side and the output on the right side. I would like to have a, some kind of a switching mode like APC that you would scroll the mouse or hold some key and you will switch the input and output like uh, the opposite way. So we can do it only with rotation just like this. So I will connect it to the power and the network maybe just like this and over here right and we have the logic mirror installed and i need to choose what device i want to mirror and i would like to mirror the gas sensor right so now what is happening the logic mirror is exactly same thing as this gas sensor so i will cut some cables and i will uninstall the switch and let's see what we can do so i have a logic reader and a logic reader so i will connect them with the cables 
just like this and you will see guys why a logic mirror is so good so this cable there and there we need this one and we need a t-section over here maybe just like that and we need one more cable here so we have the power and we have everything else so now we can program these logic readers because we would like to know the values on this gas sensor so the first logic reader let's program it to logic mirror and the logic mirror is exactly the gas sensor and we would like to read the temperature now we can see the temperature and this logic reader it will read the pressure just like oh shoot okay logic mirror and we would like to read the pressure boom and we have it if we can take a look on the gas sensor we have all these values in logic readers because we are using this logic mirror and of course i'm just showing you guys how to do these uh, video logic readers you can use ic chip as well and this is why the logic mirror is so good device to use it will save you a lot of time effort and cables so this is how it's done guys so thank you very much guys for watching i will see you in the next one this is the way